So everybody, so today we are going to make a read traditions that we have here with us in our family. And I have April uh -oh. with us and she's playing with your balloon. So the first thing you need to do is um, get your branches, get your extra branches from uh -oh. the day you go and buy your Christmas tree. And you need to get a small branches just like this. You cut it here and you will get a bunch of branches just like this. The more branches that you can get, the better, because that means that your grief is gonna be popular, okay? Also, you will need a hanger. Hanger, this is we get, you show this from the dry cleaner. So then you, what you wanna do is like a circle, just make it like a circle, play with the wire around, and just leave this so you can hold it. Also, what you need is, scissors and the green wire okay okay so now we are going to start putting the putting everything together um i usually put up the small branch and kind of fold it a little bit so it can follow follow you okay so first thing this is what we're gonna do. We're just gonna grab the branches around. Try to don't put everything at the same level, like one above the other. Things that you, that you don't see. Then I will hide this one over here. Lower. Wrapping around the, the wire and try to, to follow a pattern. Okay, and wherever you feel like you need some more branches, just keep adding. For example, I think I would like something that is easy to bend at this point, like this. Easy to bend. So, um, just remember, follow the pattern. And then I go like this. Go a little backwards. And what I do is twist it around. Give a couple turns. And then, so that way the branches don't get loose. Right? have put the tree that we buy we really have good oh, it's very puppy 
and it's helping. Get a, a good grip. We'll go, I will do it again a couple times. that you had, try to put it together here, it's kind of you're wrapping around everything now. Just to hold it together. Perfect. Alright. Alright, you see branches that are, you know, and up like this, what you're gonna, you're gonna do is just push it inside and hide it. Or what or, or another thing you can do is um, just cut it. But in my case, I'm going to hide it. But I have more branches, so what I'm gonna do is try to keep adding to my red. Here, for example, like things here is, I don't think it's too puffy. Everything. 
or what you can do is just make two with two of them also good um, I'm looking for a small small one easy to bend Decide that you believe looks better, you know. For example, um, I know. I think here I can see more branches than here, so I think it's gonna be my front. Um, but at the same time, I'm going to hide some more here. So, what I want to do is then, if you have that problem, you just gotta cut small ones. Just cut the small ones, small branches that you can hide. So you see here, you can cut it or you can just hide it. But um, one option, or you can do both. So you see here the branches here are showing. So I will just cut it and just cut it. And then whatever you see, for example, the, that um, you want to add more branches. So I cut small ones. And I just want to add it but you gotta follow the same pattern remember okay so we are going this way so I will add something here and um, I will put it curl it over here see I have a big branch here that I want to cut as well Um, here I think we can get some more as well. I'm following the pattern. Just remember this. All these years I learned that that's very important. See how it looks. Um, start looking good. All right. And then we are just gonna put this one maybe here just want to hide the, the wire a little bit there we go and I delete here as well hide it everything by hiding see and here you'll see that the Kind of the leaves are backwards okay so we want the the nice green green color on the outside so i'm going to add, add this branch here and this is, so this is my hand currently and then 
just when I caught it, okay. And this is how my hand. So here is just tight it up. Tight it up as much as you can, and we want to add some couple branches right there. Okay. Tie it up very good. Then what you do is just go around a little bit here. Then I'm ready to cut the wire. Remember, this is a different pliers. This is for wire, and this is for the branches. Okay, so here I'm gonna add some branches like this just to hide the wire and yeah, I think we are almost we are almost done with this. Just kind of turn around the branches so the nice uh, green looks around so see it looks pretty so if you see, we are following a pattern. I went all the way down and just follow that way. You see the small branches kind of follow each other. If you want, you can hide a little more. I just like like this puffy and I like kind of a little messy because it looks more natural. But um, here we go, we cut our wreath. And now we are going to start with our decoration. Like All right, April. Like so we are ready for the decoration. What do we have, April? What we are gonna put in the wreath? We have cones. cones. What else do we have here? Mm -hmm. We have cones. We have those are cherries. Cherries and a bow. We have a bow. Okay, so that's what we are gonna put on our wreath today. Cherries. These are the cherries. So you have more cherries, April? Yes. Yeah, okay. The last cherry we got is one. Just the last cherry? It is, okay. Yeah, the last so we are going to put the cherry oh, over here. Uh oh. We've got to put this up top. Okay, so we so have cherry. So we should just kind of hide it over there. Yes. And then we have some cones. We already put the bow. Just no, we are not using that. No anymore. No. And then some, you have something like this. And then I just wrap it around the wreath, okay? So this is what we got. Yeah. Okay, we are gonna have our Christmas tree. Yes, come on, come on, me. Hold it, hold it, hold it.